Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's Alakazam, Alakazam, he doing? Alakazam. Oh, he's playing Fancy Fetch. It's where you get dressed up and play fetch with a black and white stick. Amazing Alfie makes flowers appear. <coughs> Nuts. Why isn't this working? Oh, wrong sleeve. Yes, haha. <laughs> I did it. It's amazing. I don't think this is fetch. Where did those flowers come from? Obviously, they came from the garden he's hiding in his arm. Ah, there's nothing like a good dig to remind me what it's like to be a boar. Know what I mean, Sue? Sure do! Sometimes I just fly around to remind me what it's like to be a bird! But you're a bird disguised as a bird! When do you not feel like a bird? Eugenie, stop! Holes are dangerous! You don't know what's down there! Fine! What are you guys doing? Watching, Alfie. He's doing a weird fetch dance with his garden arm. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing with that bunny? I can't see! Eugenie, stop! You can get hurt! Or worse, really hurt. What is it with you today, Sam? Why aren't you letting me do anything? I'm just looking out for you. As your big brother, it's my job to do that. When I remember to. Well, I don't <laughs> need you to. I'm a big boar, and I can take care of myself. Alakazam, Alakazir. Whoa. Where did the bunny go? Clearly, the bunny went to the market to get hors d'oeuvres. Huh. <laughs> You don't know the rules of fancy fetch at all. Wash, stop pretending you know what's happening. He's doing a magic trick. Humans watch them for fun. Ah, sounds like fun! Not if it means being close to Alfie. One time, he spit bubblegum in my fur. Uh? He's gross and sticky and a menace to animals everywhere. <sighs> You've been through so much! <laughs> 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 which means I'll never get invited to birthday parties, which means I'll never have cake again! Cake! <laughs> hey, <laughs> is this your bunny? Yep, her name's Eugenie, remember? Could I borrow her? Huh? <gasps> well, uh, Alfie, I... Please, please, please! It's show and tell at my school and I need a bunny for my magic trick. What am I supposed to do, make a rock disappear? No one cares about rocks, Mr. Elf! <laughs> Okay, okay. You can borrow Eugenie if you promise to take very good care of her. I'll do better than that. I'll take very, 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 very good care of her. We're going to have the best day ever. We got to rescue her. Who's with me? Me! Aren't you coming back? As much as I long to be a hero, someone's got to stay behind in case Eugenie comes home. You're so smart and selfless. We're so close, I can almost taste it. <laughs> it tastes like dirty bus. Hurry up, guys. No time to sleep. We're coming for you, Eugenie. <laughs> she can't! They're tossing her around! Yo! My baby sister's in danger! She could get hurt or air sick or swallow a fly! Or well, those kids can find her zipper and know she's not a real bunny! You didn't see what happened to the last bunny? So many dangers! Oh, hi, hi you the kids! I can hug you all day! So fluffy! <laughs> if Sam can see me now, he'd know I can take care of myself! You guys should really stop running into things with your faces. Oh, 
are so cute. Wow, your buddy's funny. I wish I had one instead of a stupid goldfish. Hugh Genie, you're cooler than a T-Rex and a lion combined. We're gonna kick butt at the show and tell. I heard there was a project today. Everybody in? Great. <laughs> We're almost there, buddy! Except for this locked fence! And humans everywhere! What do you want to do before school starts? Let's play pirates! Arr, Eugenie! Let's dig for treasure! Arr! Huh? Is she digging? She knows how I feel about home! It's gonna be okay, Sam. It's not like... Ah! Oh, no! Is she yeah. in a tree? You need to be on the lookout for scoundrels who are after me treasure! This is awesome! Hey, is that Sam and Wash? That's not safe! Eugenie, stop jumping! Screaming doesn't help, Sam. Susie, can you send a message? <laughs> Susie, check it out! I'm in the tree! No way! Me too! Oh, and I have a message from Sam. He says... so overprotective. I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me. You can tell him I say no. I'm having a blast. Besides, Alfie's nice. Mm, that's a lot to remember, but I'll try. Eugenie says no way. She's having some gas. Besides, Alfie likes rice. Alfie must have given Eugenie a head injury because that's crazy talk. That's the last straw. We've got to find a way in without being seen. I have an idea. Hey, Bush! Quiet, Sam. Bushes don't talk. You're gonna blow our cover. What if someone hears you? They'd have super hearing because no one's here. Where is everyone? Welcome to show and tell, everyone. First up is Billy. Hello, everyone. This is my pet, Ant. Oh, oh no! Where'd he go? No one move! He has a family! <laughs> All right, Billy. We'll keep an eye out for your tiny pet, Ant. Oh, okay. Next up is, uh, the amazing Alfie. I am the amazing Alfie. <laughs> for my first trick, I'm gonna make my bunny <laughs> magically disappear. <laughs> Alakazam! Alakazat! Eugenie, disappear in this hat! Huh? <laughs> now are we gonna get Eugenie now? Oh no! This is what happened to the last bunny right before it landed in the street! Wait! Where did she go? Huh? she go? Is this part of the show? This is better than TV. Elsie brought those bushes to life. I did? Oh, that's great. My magic powers are stronger than I knew. Kids, inside now. <laughs> we have to get to Elfie. He's the only one who can bring Eugenie back. Sam! Huh? Sam! <laughs> Eugenie, you didn't disappear. Of course not, silly. I've just been hanging out in here. Check it out! <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? Alfie made it! I was worried sick about you! And you were lounging? You don't need to be worried. I'm big enough to handle things on my own. I know I'm adorable, but I'm not a baby. She's right, Sam. Eugenie was on her own all day, and she's still in one piece. You're right. I just worry because I care. You may not be a baby, but you'll always be my little sister. And you'll always be my big brother. <sighs> and I'll always be a bird. Sorry, I thought we were all saying what we are. I'll try to be less overprotective. <laughs> That's all I ever want. Today. Sorry, I don't want to disturb your touching reconciliation, but what are we doing with Alfie? The panic will spread. 
will be accused of black magic. That's right. And you said he was nice. However, he's disgusting and sticky. <laughs> You're right. Let's go party. <laughs> 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 Man, that's not fair. Look what you did. You ruined show and tell. Turn those bushes back. I'm sorry, but I don't know how. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alakazam, Alakazop. Magic, make those bushes stop. It was awesome. The bushes were like poof. And the kids were like, ah, but I saved the day. Watch. Alakazam, Alakazee. Magic, help me move that tree. Huh? Wow, Alfie, you're quite the magician. You just need to practice. I can't believe I woke up for this. Huh? The tree's alive. It really is magic. That's it. Here we are. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You. Nope, nope. I double dare you. If you don't accept, you must obey my every other command for a week. Oh, ouch. Sorry, I didn't make the rules. Fine. <laughs> You're so talented at belly dancing. <laughs> 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 Okay, I dare you to uh -huh. act like a crazy monkey running through the house. No, <laughs> that's outrageous. I won't do it. Okay, fine. Then I double dare you. No, still not going to Too happen. Too bad for you because I triple dog dare you. No way out. <gasps> a triple dog dare? A triple dog dare is infamous for the sole reason that you cannot back down from it. A triple dog dare must be carried out. What an excellent game! Yeah, and fun too. When do we start, dummies? Uh oh. We've lost track of time. We've got to get some work done. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> One more round? I mean... I triple dog dare you. No way out. <sighs> so many emails. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you to... <laughs> Tight rope across the yard. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sam? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I dare you to... you just did. Hmm? Kidsville, if you ask me. 
I mean, if you want to do something truly daring, mm -hmm. I've got something really good for you. Okay, I dare you to sneak up on Fluffy and Nugget and pull their tail. Me? Uh, <laughs> fun is fun, but I don't... I double dare <laughs> you. Which means if you don't accept, you have to obey my every other command for a week. We accept. <laughs> we? Did you do it? Uh -huh. It was awesome. Yeah, you're right. That was way more daring. Oh, what a rush. Another dare, another dare. Well, if you insist, I double dare you to. Hmm, those shoes look really comfortable. Hmm. Aw, Sammy, who's a good cat? <laughs> Yes, you are my Sammy. Darn computer. <laughs> I double dare you to scare the rat pack in the alley. <laughs> I double dare you to <laughs> Wow, aren't you cute? Thank you, ladies. I double dare you to <laughs> Double dare you too. Oh man, we can't keep up. Sadness. Double rush. I don't know. That wasn't so fun. Yeah, we couldn't do a single one of those dares. Yeah, I dare you to unzip out of your costumes and mime behind that cop out there. We could get caught. And then it's back to the woods for us. Forget it. This one's too dangerous. Yep. I knew you weren't tough enough. <sighs> I guess I'll just have to double dare you. Washington? Nope. Nuh uh. Not gonna do it. Oh. Hmm. I. Don't do it! Triple dog dare you. A triple dog dare is infamous for the sole reason that you cannot back down from it. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Let's do it. This we can do. Thank goodness we watch Monday Night Mimes. <laughs> Tell you look like that movie star Rick Rocket? <laughs> I get that all the time, but I'm actually a little taller, dude. Really? I mean, the resemblance is just uncanny. <laughs> I noticed it just as soon as I stopped you. <laughs> Although I might be able to let you walk with just an autograph. <laughs> what a rush. <laughs> hey guys, ciao time! Huh? There's Vic, but where's everyone else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
two little forest creatures doing out here. I better get you two back to the woods. Oh no, oh no, I never thought. This is getting way out of control. Watch your speed, Rick Rocket. And thanks for the autograph. Oh no, what do we do? Uh, 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 Honey, what if those wild animals have taken our pets? Uh -huh. Maybe we ought to call animal control. Vic, you gotta stop her from making that call. If you don't, we'll have animal control all over the place. It'll be a nightmare. We can still fix this. You can fix this. Vic, I triple dog dare you. <laughs> Victoria, that's not a toy. Victoria, that's not a toy. Victoria, give me my... <laughs> Get back to the house. What's gotten into you? <laughs> wow, you're back. Let's make some treats to celebrate. <laughs> With a rhubarb pie? Victoria! Rhubarb! No! <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get. Yeah, triple dog dares to never dare again. Oh, yes, I triple cat accept. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I did. It's not every night your boss comes to dinner. Honey, you're a genius. Who doesn't love truffles, right? They cost a fortune, but... <laughs> These babies are gonna get me a tasty raise. The boss man will be very impressed. <laughs> you better keep your little nose out of these, Miss Victoria. <laughs> So look, it's super simple. First, you throw it to the quarterback, who throws it to the runner over here. Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> Football is fun! Get it! Yeah, you got it! Yes! Hmm, that smell. What is that? Why is that so familiar? Uh, what's up with Sam? Oh, no! I remember it now. That smell is the smell of truffles! 
Those precious truffles, they're nothing but trouble. They turn Sam into a maniac. They are his one true love. He loses control around them. Of course, there's not a wild boar in the world that can resist a truffle once he gets a taste. Yeah, we all love that smell, but you're gonna have to find a way to control him. Because guess who else is crazy for truffles? Babarusas? Mm -hmm. Humans! They cost a fortune! Mm, you don't say. I do. Mr. L's boss is coming to dinner tonight, and those truffles are for him. So if Sam so much as sneaks a nibble, they'll freak. <laughs> what about Eugenie? She's never tasted one, so it shouldn't be a problem. But this is not good. Girls, go get me anything you can find to plug up his nose, quick! Hey, buddy, what's up? Come on, relax. Take a deep breath. That's all we can find. This is for your own good, dude. <laughs> Hold on a second. I've got an idea. I cured myself of balls of yarn with hypnosis. Let me handle this. Look at me. You do not like truffles. No. Listen to me. No. Yeah, that really worked great. Truffles, truffles, truffles. Sam, please! Stop! Why did you do that? My truffle tagliatelle is going to be divine if I do say so myself. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. I just couldn't control myself. Sorry. If you're sorry, you better make it clear you did it before we all get in trouble. We can be kicked out or even abandoned for less than that. Let's not be so dramatic. If he doesn't own up, I'll expose you and it'll be back to the forest for everybody. She's right, Wash. It's all my fault. I'm the one who should be punished. Wait, there's got to be another solution. Doubt it. I mean, we know where to find more. And where would that be? In the forest, a.k.a. our old neighborhood. We should be able to go and get back before dinner. Yeah, well, I don't see how you'll ever get enough. No problem. I've got the best truffle detector in the whole world. Sam's snout. Yeah? How are you going to keep him from eating them once he smells them? Working on it. What was that noise? It's nothing. Nothing but nice, fun nature. Okay, let's get going. Wait, don't the truffles only grow near... Yes, Mitch's cave. That's the one little thing. If Mrs. L comes back before those dummies return, I'm the only one who's going to get in trouble. We'll help you. We don't want you to get punished. You're going to help me keep her out of the kitchen. I've got a couple awesome ideas, naturally. Ready? Go! <laughs> Wash, thanks for keeping me out of trouble. No probs, bro. That's what best friends are for. <laughs> Did someone say best friend? I knew it was you guys. You missed Mitch, didn't you? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> hey, Mitch, what a nice surprise. <laughs> and now we'll never ever get separated again. No, seriously, Mitch, we're in a hurry. Okay. Salad fork, truffle fork, steak knife. Okay, just keep Mrs. L out of the kitchen for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. No, Eugenie, I'll play with you later, Bunny. Out of the way now. Table. Oh, does 
stress is getting to me. You guys can move in with me and do everything I say. It'll be great. You can bring me human food. Mm -hmm. huh? I should tie you up. Maybe you'd like to hang upside down from the tree all night. Oh, you guys want some cricket cookies? Hold well on. I forget what a bad temper he has. No kidding. Remember the time we went swimming with him? Oh, you brought snakes! No! It's not for you right now. It's for after after the show. Huh? What show? Uh, yeah, what show? The show to celebrate our reunion, Sam. The one we talked about? What are you talking about? We never talked about a show. <laughs> Anyway, showtime! Sam, why don't we start with a song? Uh, okay. I know Fairy Jacka. Yeah. Okay. Fairy Jacka, Fairy Jacka. Enough! My turn. I'm gonna do a wonderful magic trick. Choose a card. Any card. <laughs> No, honey, no, I'm busy. I'll play with you later. No, don't! You're gonna make me lose my balance! No! I've got just enough time to go and get new flowers. And you, little rascals, are going to go play in the yard. Shoot! Shoot! <laughs> Mitch, my nose is starting to itch. Oh, hey, Mitch, I know a great magic trick, too. You do? Watch closely. I'm going to go all around the cave without touching the ground. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, right. Sam? Hocus pocus, flying fungus. Ah. <laughs> truffles, truffles, truffles. Bravo! Is this part of the trick? Hey, you get back here and have more fun. Wow, best magic trick ever. Jumbles! 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 We're coming! <laughs> what are you doing in here, you little rascal? Get away from my truffles! Okay, time to cook now. Come on, honey. How could you know your boss was allergic to truffles? Uh, my career is over. Quite possible. But what am I going to do with all of this now? Animals, come in here! <laughs> no point in letting the rest go to waste. Someone should enjoy my masterpiece while it's fresh. Well, you are officially the most spoiled pets in the neighborhood. <laughs> but empty little ones. <laughs> Deal about these things anyway. <laughs> uh, yum! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to 
keep our secret. Look, look. Just look at it, Sam. <gasps> Leftovers from lunch. What do you think it is this time? Cool. Greasy. Stinky. Delicious. Delicious. Happy Hungry with the brand new noodle box you can take with you anywhere you want. <gasps> My head. What is that horrific noise? <laughs> <laughs> Gracie and Alfie, the worst. What was that about? I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> oh, a toy xylophone, the worst of the worst. can't take their human food? If that happens, then we get the bad boy! Bad boy! Bad boy! Oh, right. Leftovers are a special gift that the humans give us for being good boys. If we start snatching stuff, we'll be denied treats forever. Forever? Forever! The only way we're gonna get our teeth into that delicious treat is by behaving ourselves and being good boys. Good boy! Good yeah. boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! I'm a good boy! <gasps> I'm a good boy! Yay for you! Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Being a good boy makes my face hurt! <laughs> ha, stupid kids! Never had a clue what happened! <laughs> That means we get to run around like crazy and make lots of noise. It's a free pass freak out! Yeah. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Meow! Arf woof arf! What? Bunnies don't get to make excited sounds like you guys, so I made some up. Children. Mrs. Appleton, uh, what brings you over? Uh, Mrs. Livingstone, I. Your music toy is lost, sweetheart. No, Mommy, I want Let's it. Let's get out of here. Normally, I wouldn't ask you, but could you watch Gracie and Alfie for an hour, please? It's an emergency. Mm. Oh, uh, well, yes, of course. They're really sweet kids. You remember. <sighs> they just love your cat. Victoria, right? Don't let them eat nuts or dairy or anything pink. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure my old toys are here somewhere. Oh, no. Alfie and Gracie. Wait. This should be good. Good boys. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the Painbot 3000. Keeping them occupied. Let's not disturb them for an hour. Come on, let's sneak out of the room. Sam, this is it. It is? Wait, what is it? 
It's a test, don't you see? If we help the elves with the kids, they'll see we're good boys, and they'll have to reward us with a box of leftovers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Washington, are you sure about this? Uh-huh. <laughs> These leftovers are gonna taste all the more delicious once we're done with these sweet little angels! A cat? Kitty! Where are you, kitty? Who else wants a cup of tea? Sam, manners? You're supposed to be a good boy. Oh, yeah. For you, Mr. Doggy, I've got a knitted cupcake. Mm -hmm. mm, yum. Rarf, arf. Be a good boy and eat it properly. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Kitty! <laughs> Kitty! Oh! <gasps> Hello, Kitty! Sam, is all this worth some leftovers? Let me think about that. Mm... Yes! Welcome to Gracie's hair salon! Hey! Or maybe not. Run! <gasps> you have to hide me. Victoria, is that some sort of game? Yes, yes, just do it now. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? Absolutely.
That must be Mrs. Appleton. Oh, we're saved. I got them exactly what they wanted. Oh, thank you for watching the kids. Well, actually, we... Oh, oh you guys found it. Well, now we have to double the music. <laughs> Where's Alfie? Kitty. <laughs> there you are. I told you he loves your cat. When I split them up, he'll freak. Oh, why tear them apart? <laughs> sure. We'll come get Vic later when the kids are asleep. And quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Come on, kids. <sighs> oh, one last thing. I have some leftovers. Would anyone want any? <laughs> well, you guys have been very good boys today, haven't you? Haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> You'd think we were living with a couple of wild animals. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Watch, I've gotten really good at this. <laughs> Get Minnie, he's almost uh, here! Uh, you're asking for trouble. Stupid male, stupid sunshine! Come to Papa. <laughs> here! Arf, 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 arf. Very funny, dog. You got a real weird bark, you know that? Hey, dog! Here's something I'll make some noise about. It's a letter from the vet. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, did he say letter from the vet? Yep, it's a letter from the vet, all right. See, that's his necklace. And a letter from the vet is never good. Yeah. Maybe it's time for shots! Or maybe our ears are too long. Maybe he wants to cut them off. Yeah. Or maybe he just figured out who we are. Yeah. Huh? No! no. <laughs> cool. For my collection. What did you do that for? What if they were expecting that letter? They'll blame the mailman. The post office never makes a mistake. Everybody knows that. Who oh, knew it was us? I mean, you! Huh? Ah! <laughs> Calm down, everybody, because I got it all worked out. See? This is a good thing. You heard me. A good thing. We replace the letter in Sam's stomach with a brand new one. A better one. A letter that will say whatever we want. We'll pretend it's from the vet, and we'll say that we're in perfect health and that he never needs to see us again. Yay! <laughs> I'm all for no more vet visits, but how are you going to write a letter? How are you going to write, period? Hmm. Vic, I think you're forgetting I'm a super slick fox. I mean, if I can manage this... I can figure out how to write. Yeah, how hard can writing be? Go for it. But so you know, it's got to be on the vet's special paper. The one that has his little necklace on it. Uh-oh, really? Yep, otherwise, they'll know it's a fake. No biggie, where do we get some? In his office. Uh? Yeah. <gasps> Great, point the way. It's at the corner by the coffee shop. Got it. Sam, you're coming with me. Me? To the vet? 
Then it wouldn't run into the bed. Like I do, but someone <laughs> ate the letter. I think you guys should all go. Safety in numbers, right? Well, I guess you're right. Let's go. <sighs> that little adventure should take all day. <sighs> Now what? How do we get in? We came all the way and we can't even get into the building. Wait! I think I see a solution to our problem. Quick, act normal. <laughs> I said normal like animal pets. <laughs> Come on, on Modi. It'll be fine. You don't need all those teeth anymore. <laughs> That dog doesn't need all his teeth! What kind of place is this? We each have to pick one human to walk inside with, and don't forget what you have to do once you're there. Let's replace those disgusting old teeth of yours. Look at my dog, John. All new teeth. No pain. He looks like a puppy again. You're a big kitty. Look at that big nose of yours. <laughs> and your teeth, they stick out. Weird. Where on earth am I going to find this? Look, big kitty. This is my hamster, Oscar. Oscar, say hi to big kitty. Hello. Oh, Oscar, he always faints. <laughs> Meow! Meow! Here we have our top model. These would make old Moldy look like a movie star. Think about it. I'll grab the forms for you to sign. <laughs> Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna make you look good and young again. Hi there, nice little rabbit. What's going on? What's all the noise back there? Why is he barking? Oh, Oscar. Vet papers and vet envelopes must be worth a fortune, so he would hide them. I must think like a vet. Where would I, a vet, hide them? Nurse, that bone wasn't enough. I need some pills to calm him. They're in your office, Doctor. Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. Yeah. 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 Here. That's odd for a cat. This cat needs to have these two teeth out as soon as possible. They're probably infected. That fur, it's so wet and sticky. Whose pet is this? Who brought a sick animal in here? <sighs> of course! In my vet desk! Aha! Hmm? Bingo! <laughs> Nurse, help! That weird cat needs to be sedated right now! We've got to save Sam! Yuck! He's 
sicker than I thought. But stop moving like that. pets are in perfect health. And I, their vet, do not need to see them ever again. Yay, Washington! Thank you, thank you. What can I say? I'm a natural. Can we add and give them plenty of snacks? Easy. And give them plenty of snacks. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Signed, the vet. Yay, Yay Washington! Envelopes. What's the letter about, honey? I... Uh... <coughs> I'm not really sure. See for yourself. What on earth? This handwriting is terrible, even for a doctor. <laughs> okay, so I need to practice. I'm gonna call the vet to see what's going on. Cheap trick, Bush! And of course, we appreciate you taking the time to write, Doctor, but perhaps you could tell me what you wrote? Oh, yes, the letter. I ran into the mailman last week. He told me that Washington has a rather strange bark. Oh, dear! Maybe we should bring him in. Why don't you? I'm offering 50% off all my doses all month long. Oh! <laughs> Finally a perfect morning. 